Hello, I'm Randy here, and no one, when I do not want to talk about having to be pulled home by a red tractor, we're not going to talk about that. So, what happened here, everyone, is the uh, belt has actually come off here. It's not actually uh, broken, it's just off the uh, pulley here. Um, I do actually have another belt with me in the cab in case this belt didn't make it, which doesn't actually surprise me when if you watch the last few videos, this belt, uh, it's not looking the healthiest from doing what we're doing to it here. So, I had another belt with on hand, could have changed out everyone, except for the fact, if you look at this, um, what I'm calling an idler pulley back here, I don't know if you can see that back in there. Yeah, something's wrong with that idler pulley there. So, we're going to have to get the alternator off here. Uh, I do have a brand new uh, belt. There's also another one in the cab. It's the same one as this, though, so I figured I'd, I'd get something a little different. This is supposed to be a much, much better belt. Also, like, uh, not ten times, probably like five times the price of this belt, though. So yeah, at least five times the price of that belt, so a lot more expensive. Um, I don't know, is that going to do the trick? I don't know, everyone. We're going to give it a try, though. And so, yeah, let me get the alternator off. We also have to get the coupler off on the hydraulic pump on the front there so we can slip the belt on there. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't take too much here, depending on what's wrong with that, with that idler in there. Okay, we got the old belt off here. There's what the old uh, belt looks like. Like I said, it's it's uh, it looks like it's in pretty tough uh, shape here. And I didn't realize it either until I got it off, but there's a split in it. I'm not sure if I just did that or if that was already on there. But yeah, it's definitely split there. So that belt is whatchamacall a shot. I don't think there's any use in that anymore. Doesn't actually, other than the split, I'm going to look as bad as I thought it would. I mean, yeah, it's a little fuzzy on the edge there, but I thought it was going to be a whole lot worse than that. You can see we're on the edge here, though. Well, maybe not so much on that edge, but this side here looks like it was the one that was probably up against this uh, pulley here. 
And speaking of this pulley opening, yeah, this one, uh, I don't know why when it came unscrewed or came un unbolted, it must have backed itself out somehow. I don't know if I just did not have it in there tight enough. The force on the pulley somehow managed to back it out. I don't know, everyone, but uh, I think we're going to come up with a little bit different plan here. Maybe put a lock nut on there. We're going to put some thread locker on it. We're going to make sure that does not come out again. Also, I'm probably going to have to clean that up. Uh, if you notice, this side here looks like it's fine. This side, yeah, not so much. You can definitely tell it was uh, destroying that belt on there. So I don't know if I should have a different pulley in there. I don't know. Well, we're going to give this one more try one. See once what uh, comes of it. See if I can get it to work this time. If not, uh, we'll have to uh, come up with something different. But like I said, I'm going to clean that off. Make sure this, uh, or try to make sure this doesn't uh, come undone again. Thread lock it. I think I got room in there for a lock washer. We're going to find out. Uh, it, it's supposed to spin on on the bearing in there, right? I would not spin on the nuts, but I'm assuming it was probably doing some of both. Spinning on the uh, the bolt here, which is probably what caused it to back it off. I don't know, was, would it be spinning the right direction though? Um, That's a good question, I don't know. It has to be spinning that way. Is that the direction it's spinning? All right, see, so the fan would be going that way, so that means the belt would be, yeah, that actually would be the direction it's spinning, everyone. It would be spinning that direction, so it would be uh, loosening that uh, pulley. So, okay, that, that kind of makes sense. Yep, that's loosening the bolt, not tightening it. Okay, I think we're ready to go back together here already, everyone. I uh, just took a wire brush, just a uh, hand wire brush, and uh, ran that over this. Looked like I cleaned it up uh, pretty good. Notice I got a lock washer on there now. Also got some uh, blue Loctite. We're going to put that. I'm not going to put the red one. Uh, we're not going to do that. Also, I got some brake cleaner. I'm going to clean that hole out here first. That's the hole where it is. Uh, just to make sure the Loctite has as good a chance as possible setting up properly. Uh, just a little quick story. We had this actually at work. Uh, we were assembling locks. We started getting customer complaints. Everyone, it's because the lock manufacturer, uh, they were putting something on the threads when they were cutting it. So the Loctite we were putting on it. And it wasn't, there wasn't, eh, I guess it was about this kind of Loctite. It was the blue stuff. Uh, it wouldn't set up properly and wouldn't actually work because the lock manufacturer had, I don't know, some sort of oil, something on the threads, preventing that from working. So I'm going to take a little brake cleaner to it first here, make sure that hole is clean. I don't think that goes down in there. I could be wrong on that. So I'm going to be real light on it. I don't want to go too heavy because I don't want any brake cleaner going down in the motor. I, I think that's a solid hole in there, but I'm not 100% sure.
Okay, I'm a nice, uh, quick job. There's not a whole lot to it. Oh, red belt on a green tractor. I, I don't know. Uh, we still need to tighten this up yet, here, but I'm not tightening it down. I'm probably have to wait for my dad or my brother to give me a hand with that. Uh, basically, we did last time just stuck a crowbar behind here, put a little bit of pressure on it, just you know, so it's tight, and uh, that seemed to work last time. Why it destroyed the belt as quick as it did, Evan? I don't know. I didn't think the belt was that tight. Uh, maybe it's just that pulley all along. That's what I'm hoping, Evan. I'm hoping it was just that pulley all along that uh, that came out there. But I guess there's only one way to find out, everyone. Try it again. See what's what happens. If it doesn't work, then, uh, like I said, I'm going to have to... Uh, I think my next plan, and I don't know, maybe you folks can give me some ideas here too, but I think my next plan maybe is try to go up a pulley size here. Maybe try a two and a half or maybe a three inch pulley. Because uh, we seem to be spinning fast enough, so I can maybe get away with a larger pulley. I don't know. It's worth a try, I think, if this doesn't work. Or maybe I need to do something different with this uh, pulley back. I don't know. We'll, we'll see once if the thread lock and the lock nut there will help with that. Actually, I forgot to check if that was threaded in. Oh, yeah, you can see it sticking out. See that little shiny bit right there? That's the one that's uh, sticking out there. So, uh, yeah, what happened, everyone? I was uh, coming home from my uh, grandparents there. That was the uh, day we're working on the uh, cleaning out the, the ditch there by our place. Uh, I was on my way home, two miles from home. Uh, I had tried on the way home to kick the air conditioning on, and it, you know, it kicked on, and I was like, wait a minute, the voltage is not rising. We're sitting at like 13 volts. I'm like, that's that's not uh, not a very good number. It's like, well, I'll just kick it off. It wasn't overly hot that day. Uh, so yeah, shut it back. Well, actually, by the time we were coming home, it was pretty nice out. Uh, the rest of the day was kind of warm, but when we were coming home, it wasn't too bad. I uh, got about two miles from home, everyone, and it's like, oh, the engine temperature's rising. Uh, and engine temperature's rising a lot. Uh, it's like, oh crap, uh, I'm thinking something happened here. So a quick uh, stop, shut it off. Uh, we got up just to the red, everyone. So it got up to the red and that was it. Um, see the gauge here? Got to the red and then it stopped. So it didn't go into the red, but we got to the red. It's like, oh boy. And of course, I mean, you know, if you shut it off, it's not like it just instantly starts cooling down, right? Uh, you know, the temperature kind of keeps going up just a little bit there. So, oh well. Uh, hopefully we didn't do any damage to the engine with that. I don't think we did. I mean, yeah, it got a little hot, but hopefully not excessively hot. Uh, so, yeah, I ended up, uh, got it out, went and looked at it. I was like, oh, the belt's off. Okay, well, I can probably fix this here. And if not, you know, I've got a second belt in the cab. But then I noticed the uh, noticed the idler pulling back, and I was like, oh. Yeah, I could probably fix this on the road, maybe. But I don't know what's up with that idler pulling. You know what? Just give my dad a call. Came down with a Mahindra. Pulled me home with the, uh, the red tractor. <clears throat> I mean, uh, no, of course not. Uh, no, no, no. Can't be having no uh, red tractors pulling green tractors. So now that's that's just not all right. Uh, I will have to say though that uh, that red tractor had to work to pull this uh, green tractor. Everyone, uh, my dad uh, tried to start off there, instantly stalled the red tractor, uh, killed it right dead. <laughs> like okay, <laughs> I, I was uh, sitting in the cab here. I was kind of laughing. Like huh. Killed the red tractor already. Tried again. He almost killed it a second time. He was uh, quick enough on the clutch the second time around. It didn't kill it. I don't know what gear he had to drop it down into, but uh, yeah, he must have to keep dropping gears until he was finally was able to get it. I had this tractor in uh, neutral when I didn't have it in park or anything like that. It was in neutral. We were on, actually, I think we were going slightly downhill, if anything. Uh, that uh, Yes, yeah, either level or slightly downhill. One of those two there. And yeah, that, that red tractor had to struggle a little bit there pulling this one, the Mahindra 5010, for those who wonder what tractor the red tractor was. Uh, so yeah, I just pulled it home there, got it back in here. Uh, the, the tractor runs yet without the belt, everyone. It's just you don't have a water pump and you don't have, you know, the fan on the radiator. So there's no cooling. Uh, so by the time my dad had got there, everyone, the tractor had cooled back down to the normal range. So I was going to try to, you know, just uh, drive the tractor home without uh, starting everyone, but uh, no power steering, no power brakes. It wasn't going to happen, so I, I started the tractor back up, just, you know, let it idle all the way back. Uh, by the time we got back home, everyone, it was at the red again. It wasn't in the red, but it was at the red, just uh, just idling all the way home. It's like, well, I, I kind of need power steering, everyone, because otherwise it was, it was, yeah, boy, it was getting a little sketchy there going down the road. No power steering here. Um, yeah, with this tractor, then no brakes either, so... I figured, well, better off, better off just letting it run. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make it home. Yeah, only two miles, so yeah, it went okay. And yeah, got the belt, new belt back on one. That was a nice, easy job. Like I said, probably could have done that along, along the road. Just wasn't sure about uh, that that pulley back in there. So anyway, we're gonna let my uh, we'll let that sit. I'm gonna have to wait for my dad to get here, and then we'll uh, finish that job up. So again, everyone, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time.